Hey there, good people. What's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time it's around 8:14 a.m. here in Dhaka. It's a sunny morning. Later, perhaps it'll be rainy and all that. But I woke up early today. I'm not going to sleep at this moment, uh, which I've been suffering for some time. I hope the sleeping cycle becomes normal. So I had my breakfast. I fed my birds and all that, and I'm accompanied by my nice Earl Grey. And this is one of my favorite tea, right? So waking up slowly. So I thought, like, do it one episode for you. So I ordered. One fragrance which is on the way perhaps tomorrow i will receive it but i can't wait for that fragrance man that fragrance whew, uh it's something i i, I don't i want to keep it as a surprise right so you'll see when i review it one final sip at the tip now let's start so today i'm going to be doing a fragrance list of 15 fragrances which are all designers first thing designers second thing longevity okay a um, lot of people look for strong perfume perfumes they think like designer fragrances do not have that sort of a you know property like most of our designers are weak and only niche fragrances give you performance or arabian fragrances you know or artisanal perfumes no designer fragrance also have very strong fragrances uh, but uh, the thing is the smell wise these fragrances i cannot assure you everybody's gonna love them the same i'm just talking strictly about perfume performance so keep that in mind so i'll start okay uh first fragrance i'm gonna have here is this freshie this is called chrome by azaro uh, let me wipe that cap a little bit because sometimes you know these metallic caps and everything they collect i don't know why they have this uh, property i've seen in the ysl bottles as well this part of the cap it gets like dirty over time and then you have to keep wiping them right so chrome uh it's one fresh fragrance okay just like versace for um, many other aqua di and all that this is a classic dolce and gabbana like blue nautica voyage this is always in top 10 of people's uh, go-to guy right and remember one thing fresh fragrances are not supposed to last the same as sweet or darker or spicy fragrances like winter perfume these are more like for summer if you get five hours plus that is a beast mode performer right so this one chrome easily covers you seven seven to eight hours easily like on the shirt uh, and you can cover your day's work with it very very uh, fresh marine floral metallic fragrance and some people feel it's like a soapiness to it i never got the soapiness i get that metallic vibe and the floral aquatic beautiful fragrance this is called azaros chrome very affordable fragrance right so next one is another gem from the same house and i just purposely put them side by side just for appreciation you cannot find this exact bottle anymore this bottle used to be beast the new ones they last about six hours this used to last 10 hours plus if you can find this get it azaro chrome legend one of my first fragrances when i came to bangladesh this is very memorable for me when i came to bangladesh i met up my brother started the community that time we had like four or five uh, brothers we used to always hang out meet up and slowly the community became bigger in bangladesh but this fragrance uh, my dear brother shafi bhai brought it to me and i fell in love with it instantly and i searched for it i had another bottle that's finished then this is my last bottle and these are very very rare to find nowadays especially this top version the new versions have this tall cap that's all but chrome legend still smells like fresh clean uh apple like green apple it has strong cabins i think there's a tea note very interesting perfume and if you can find these ones one fragrance like two to three application it will cover you for the whole day that good it's even longer lasting than chrome so number 13 let's go a little bit of a fresh sweet type like this is a hated fragrance by many in the community i understand due to the bottle the name but this is also loved by many as well because this one performs and you know it does what it's supposed to this is called invictus invictus i would personally tell you i have another invictus in this list both are beastly but this one is that basic invictus that started the game okay i have always have respect for it my one of my first bottles i got a 50 ml and i got compliments i got performance anywhere i go i love spraying this sweet fresh kind of like a bay leaf aquatic people say it's uh, similar to one million i find nothing similar it's like a sweet fresh fragrance if you like hawas you would like this this is more sweeter than hawas invictus by pakuraban and uh, nobody's wearing this nowadays so you'll be safe like to get you know compliments perhaps so number 12 this is another fragrance very polarizing and this perfume has a lot of flankers nowadays but i still go back to this in winter this is your um simply the pink juice massive 200 ml this kind of fragrance is always worth getting this kind of big bottles because they are very budget friendly they are not going to break your bank and the thing is if you can like this smell you will absolutely enjoy wearing this through and through i know many people who are in the mature side they love this perfume in winter it has cinnamon floral syrupy thickness like strawberry it smells like strawberry syrup and stuff beautiful fragrance i just love it i love it over mont blanc individual for sure so this is called yup um okay so let's put them a little bit back so i can have enough space right 
Um, okay, so number 11, then we hit top 10. Number 11 is this fragrance. Jack Bogart One Man Show Emerald Edition. I'll write down the names, no worries. You can take a screenshot, you can try to find it. These are not available in Bangladesh so easily. I found it in one page, I immediately grabbed it. So this fragrance is actually a little bit more expensive than their regular One Man Show line. Why I took a pause? The tea helps. So this one is fantastic fragrance. Like the original One Man Show, it's also similar like green. It's a little bit like a leathery animalic fragrance like maybe there's oak moss in that this one is about uh, herbaceous like a green basil and then i think they got a little bit of leather at the base and got nutmeg spices it's a beautiful perfume if you wear it you can also wear this in uh, summer but i think this is perfect time to wear this in cooler setup at night time this is one phenomenal fragrance this is a hidden gem one man show emerald edition beastly longevity now top 10 i think i have enough space god knows <laughs> uh, next one is the other in which i was talking about my favorite Invictus Victory. Uh, Invictus, most of these Invictus line, they do perform. I really like them. The new Elixir is a beast. I am waiting for the price to go down. I'll get that. But this remains one of my most favorite Invictus flankers. The V looks like Vampire, right? Vampire Diaries, whatever. If you're a fan of that TV series or, uh, you know, like the serial, uh, this is one wicked fragrance. This is sweet. This is powerful. It has conker beans, I think. This is true and true a beast mode fragrance okay designer fragrance who said doesn't perform this is a performer okay if you check it out check out my review how much i love this okay now we're gonna move to next one which is gonna be house of busheron this is busheron purum edp okay this fragrance needs more appreciation this house needs more recognition for me that's what i feel they perhaps do not have that many fragrances under their belt that people know them but I think whatever is available, Boucheron is a house, they make jewelry just like Bulgari, Van Cleves, and they have some stunning bottles as well as like Cartier also. They have stunning bottles, stunning fragrance, and best thing is oriental fragrance like a spicy, masculine, uh, you can say like a powerhouse fragrance, but it has also extreme longevity. Amazing fragrance, citrus first, then spices, I think then it's oriental vanilla, Boucheron, Purong, EDP, classy gentleman's fragrance. This is a match your man's fragrance okay next one you're gonna go hugo boss my new hugo boss this is hugo boss bottle perfume or perfume this fragrance it's taking time for me to understand it you know it's not like the rest of them like i smell them i instantly know oh, i love it this one i'm quite on the fence you know like the smell wise not quite sure if i'm gonna keep it or not but i think the winter will tell the story okay i'm waiting for winter because this is a winter fragrance this is a strong perfume this one got leather i think this one is spicy, sweet, leather, dark fragrance, okay? This, I feel for the very first time, Boss Bottle make a fragrance, like they made a fragrance which made a statement like different from the rest of the flankers. And that's why it's called Parfum, the Boss Man. So you can wear this with a leather jacket, I think. Amazing fragrance, Hugo Boss Bottle, Parfum. So I think number seven is this one. YSL's uh, discontinued line. As far as I know, this line is discontinued. Man, everything has dust on it. I'm so sorry. Because nowadays I don't have time to clean all the bottles. There are like hundreds of bottles out there. So even in the room, it's always closed. I don't know where the dust comes from. So Kuro Silver is the lesser known Kuros. People love Kuros. They'll be like, hey, isn't Kuros the beast? I know. Everybody knows. But this one for a fresh fragrance, like it's a sweet, fresh, almost like a cooler metallic version of Eros. Okay, if you like Versace, the Eros. Eros is longevity beast, but that one has kind of like the thick base of vanilla, which is a bit tough to pull in summer. This one, you can pull it in summer, also in winter. It's a cooling fragrance, sweet fragrance, also fresh. Green apple is beautiful. Tonka beans are beautiful. Be small fragrance for a freshie. Check it out. Kuro Silver by YSL. Amazing line. Number six, then I hit number top five. Number six is my favorite. I have to bring it every time. Salvatore Ferragamo Pumo. There are, I think, three, four, or five in the line. I could be wrong, but this is my most favorite. Always, always. Um, this is a solid line, solid house. Uh, tiramisu that's the official note in this that people like and i think it does smell like a little bit like that but i think it's the same quality as valentino vomo intense if you like diorome intense valentino vomo intense but you want something in that kind gourmand but in a more budget friendly price tag this is it amazing longevity in winter check it out salvatore ferragamo vomo so let's move it a little bit here so to accommodate our top five uh, top five are my favorite some favorite fragrances and they have amazing longevity i think uh, these fragrances you can get two things in one like amazing smell and the previous ones are also amazing but some of them are 
you know can be like you can you can say yo pom some people do not like the smell you know but it lasts long but these five if you like them you really love them let's go one by one roha's mustache iriti this one i heard officially discontinued but i managed to get a tester bottle recent time i don't know if it's still back in market or it's back in rotation or just people selling it randomly this is the best clone one of them the best clones in market if you like ysl tuxedo this is more approachable more sweet it's like a vanilla i think there's a booziness to it i forgot the exact notes breakdown but it's very sweet perfume and it's it smells like a masculine man and you know like i like wearing this in winter uh, first days of winter amazing longevity as well okay mustache edp definitely check it out this is a masterpiece so number four let's show you one of my favorite fragrances bulgari released and nobody cared bulgari man terra essence this hands down hands down on the best flankers in this line okay i do love bulgari man in black the most but terra essence it's something else it's a uh, earthy it got citrus i think in the opening or grapefruit but it got pepper it got something like in the same vibe as i think uh philip plain no limits if you like the fragrance you'll like it and like maybe gucci guilty uh absolute but it's a more wearable version so this is niche quality designer fragrance okay if you're looking for that this is it very unique smelling i would go as far as saying like if you know tom ford uh noir anthracite this one is a good cousin of that definitely great fragrance with amazing longevity bulgari man terra essence so number three let's go another beast discontinued hard to find gem now uh, back in 2016 this was available everywhere people were buying it loving it i think still people love it in winter this is what you're talking about here in euclid um if you love vomo you love this okay simple and this one gets compared to i think uh tonka imperial or maybe uh if the least used by dior's private line i mean if you love those those are expensive but this one beats performance of many designer fragrances unless you take a shower or took off your clothes it will not leave your side that's long lasting sometimes i got over 24 hours from this okay you are talking about theory mugler number two why daniel icon is here you'll be like oh my god daniel icon is not as long lasting as your tonka or some of the previous ones i know but this one still lasts fair bit it's a fresh uh citrusy neroli rt vetiver leather fragrance okay the scent profile wise this is my signature scent just like versace purom diorom intense i have few favorites this is one of my favorites okay i cannot lie to you how much i will always love this always now no matter how many fragrances i go through i have gone through thousands this one remains very close to my heart if you want like a perfect combination of masculine fragrance that has freshness and a little bit of sweetness and then also got leather masculinity but can be wearable earlier with good performance get daniel's icon masterpiece of a fragrance this is the best daniel fragrance i just write it down this is the best daniel fragrance ever built in our era okay so last but, last but not least i will show you one of my favorite fragrance i just got a partial and this one i was not at first sure if it's the designer or niche because they keep this fragrance in niche counter in bangladesh at uh, one of our retail outlets which is called loewe so loewe is a uh, rather known as a very up class uh, designer fragrance house because they also have leather goods and stuff i checked so this is a designer house so this is called paula's ibiza or ibiza i i always get that wrong uh, previously only 50 ml bottles were available now these are not available you can get them in 100 ml but these 50 ml are good enough do you know why one to two sprays man longevity through and through such a beautiful marine fresh kind of fragrance i mean like this is truly man oh it's a different level fragrance if i showed you the previous 14 this is so unique from the rest of them i would highly urge you to try it. check out my review then you'll see why am i praising it so much amazing fragrance this is called loewe paula zibiza i think there's a coconut note there's some green notes and i think oceanic vibes and stuff this is true and true a summer gem so there you go 15 designer fragrances which has which have very solid performance longevity and projection check them out if you love performer fragrances take care thanks for watching and go upload this and you guys have a nice day and have a nice holiday too bye bye